Hey guys, what's up? My name is McLean and welcome to my stream here. This is the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, let me get some audio going here. Spider-Man Homecoming Virtual Experience. Uh, this just came out today. It's actually free too, which is pretty cool if you have like PlayStation VR or an Oculus or Vive or something. Um, you can play this for free. Um, it's pretty fun. It's short, super short, like only a couple of minutes. You can beat it in three or four minutes, which you'll see here in a second. But um, it's virtual reality and it's Spider-Man here. So you can see the, uh, the suit and everything, their 3D model of it. Um, yeah, so this will be a fun little stream. I'll probably go through it a couple of times <laughs> just for people who show up late and are wondering what we're doing here. Um, this game is super, super quiet, so you can probably hear me, but, um, oh, hey, Matt, I meant to send you a message before I started this, but uh, yeah, I think you will have your shell before the movie comes out, because yours is almost done. Um, I considered doing another shell work stream, but I thought this would be a little more fun, and since it just came out, it's loading right now, so that's what this black screen is. There we go. Ooh, very cool, very cool, oh, that's pretty neat. Um, I will warn you, there's a little bit of spoilery stuff, um, nothing major that the trailers haven't really given away, but um, I can't even really hear the, well, I, I, that's right, I muted the audio, so um, I don't know how well you guys can hear it, it might be a little quiet. Oh, this is how I can read comments here. Oh no, I can't read those comments that way. <laughs> um, but here, here we go. Take the mask, put it on. This suit is designed Ooh, and he becomes Spider-Man. Exactly. Um, they have good the hand no animation mechanics. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of VR rigging stuff and uh, it's really hard to get a good rig going like this. Would you like me to continue with the ego boosting protocol? Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> But VR, virtual reality is just so cool with what the kind of stuff it can do. Um, we must calibrate your web functions. Yeah, I can't hear the lady's voice, but I assume I'm about to have to shoot stuff. Yep. Cool. So, this is going to just basically be the future of video games. <laughs> Once, once they get a few things ironed out, I think a Spider-Man game will be really cool because you'll be able to swing around. There are a couple of uh, indie games that are kind of like Spider-Man games right now. Oh, see, Lou, probably fired too many shots. Do better next time. Initiating web grenade. Charged grenade mode. Hold the button to charge your grenade. Firing bombs. I guess if Spider-Man has, like, laser sights, that'd make this all a lot easier. I've done this before. <laughs> I, I did this once already. Yeah, B. That's a little better. not half bad, but also not half good. Initiating web slam tether load. Press the the web shooter to launch... So I don't really need to pull that much. Try removing the posters from that wall over there. Oh, miss. Yeah, hey, that time. <laughs> That's kind of a little bit of replayability there. Getting grades on stuff. <laughs> That's what a lot of virtual reality is right now, is wave shooter stuff like that. Or you just sit stand still and just shoot at stuff. But this is a free game. It's pretty awesome for a free experience. Are coming from your location. Please oh, get to higher distance. for more detailed analysis. There is a crane 400 feet above you. Engage web sling to probably ascend. talking over the... There you go, lady. Oh. They put that crazy 
edge thing that you just saw on there to reduce motion sickness for people, but I don't, I don't really like Ambient that feature. Energy sources within sight range, determining cause and sending a drone to get a trace. Bad guy. Whoa, that's weird. Source of alien energy is getting closer. 100 meters and closing. Get him. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I still have him. I've disabled other ones for your convenience. Where'd he go? <laughs> I think I lost him. Oop. Hit my chair. Fixed it. Crane stabilized. Pretty good little city model and stuff, too. Vulture is getting away. Please call the wave on your visor. motion sickness reducing stuff. <laughs> I wish you could turn that off. Some games give you the option to turn that off. Okay, let me look at some comments here. I've not seen any comments. Cool. There we go, to uh, answer, answer uh, Andrew's comment there on moving lenses. Um, currently, no, there hasn't been any progress on that. I've kind of been only been working on the uh, catching up on face shells and stuff right now. But I'm going to get the moving lenses updated and fixed and stuff. Because the problem is, you know, if you saw my last video, they basically broke, um, you know, at the end of the video, which was only like 12 minutes long. So I definitely need to have it so that that doesn't happen. Um, Spider-Man. I'm taller than Spider-Man. I look at look at the top of his head like most other people. I'm a little little taller than most. Cool. Let's do it again. People who didn't see the beginning. I'll probably go see Homecoming the the night of that Thursday. I really want to see um, Baby Driver right now. That's um, that looks really good. And it's gotten amazing ratings or reviews, I should say. So, ooh, that's cool. Cool little details they've got in VR. Got all of the size and Hello, Peter. This is your new measurement suit. for the suitcase part of this. Although I don't know how accurate. I mean, it looks huge. I don't. I, don't, I thought it was a little smaller from the trailer. Looks like it has like ammunition. Pretty cool. Don the mask. This suit is designed to fit your specific dimensions exactly. Yeah, I'm playing this over and over again just so people people can kind of get a get a glimpse at it, see what it is. It's pretty it's pretty awesome, but it's not something I'd want to run out and get VR for. Uh, it's only like five minutes long. <laughs> this is a much much more animated mask. Oh, they need, need to let me play with that longer. <laughs> we must calibrate your web functions. Initiating your new web shooters. Initiating fire web burst mode. It's Hold pretty cool. How you can have like holograms and stuff in virtual reality. It really sells the effect well. Firing too much. Ah, B. That's better than last time. That's it. <laughs> it's improvement. Initiating web grenade. Charge grenade mode. Hold the button to charge your grenade. I'm removing the large debris over there. Oh, I missed. Oh shoot. I missed this one too. Oh. <laughs> 
that one was worse. Perhaps there is a system error. I will leave it. Initiating web slip tether load. Press and hold the web shooter to launch and connect web sling to an object. This one's pretty simple. Try removing the posters from that wall over there. But this would be, it'd be fun to have a full game based off of this. Being able to swing around like this and take out enemies, kind of like uh, all the good Spider-Man games that have been out before. That'd be a lot of fun. Right now, I would call this a wave shooter. I'm just sitting here and shooting waves of stuff. And that's a lot of what virtual reality stuff is right now. Because it's hard, it's hard to do the locomotion, which is moving around. It's kind of... The, the tricky thing right now in virtual reality. Some games have done it really well. Alien energy readings are coming from your location. Please get to higher ground for more detailed analysis. There is a crane 400 feet above you. Engage web sling to ascend. I just saw comments. Yeah, I, I heard Homecoming is getting good reviews. I'm excited about that. Okay, I really wish it didn't do this like black edged motion blur thing, but whatever. I guess I have to deal with it. <laughs> also, if you're wondering why there are black bars on the edges on either side, it's because the, um, uh, the resolution on each screen is is more square because that's how, how you want it to look for each eye so it doesn't look quite the same as a, a normal screen I, I actually had to zoom in a little bit on the center of it it's oh. pretty cool part hey, for a free game <laughs> wish i could actually do something to stop him that's what the movie's about yeah, I'm pretty excited to see it. Use your web net it's cool that they um, released this. It's like a little other preview for the movie. Whoa, that was weird. No. <laughs> That's cool. Crane stabilized. Vulture is getting away. Please follow the waypoint on your visor. Alright. Wee! It's more fun without this motion sickness thing, but whatever. Kind of a missed opportunity. Um, some people, when they experience that motion sickness, when they move around, uh, they, uh, they get over it after a little while. Oh, that's cool, Jonathan. Yeah, I, uh, that duct tape method you're talking about, just basically laying strips of duct tape down on a model. Yeah, it helps a lot for kind of prototyping something and then stepping back and looking at it and getting a good look at it. Um, okay, so we've looked at Spider-Man. I want to show you guys super hot now, because that one is pretty fun. See what it does when it switches games here.
Yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. It's a fun little off-topic stream. Not like my typical making things streams. There we go. Ooh. Freaky. Oh, it's not showing a mirror of it, though. Huh. I should have tried this before I hopped in here. So you just have to check out this game really quick. It's very cool. I guess we're here in my nihilistic, futuristic VR apartment, like from Ready Player One. Uh, we'll do hardcore. My VR headset on in VR. <laughs> it's kind of a trip. Whoa. Oh, the Matrix. That's the other thing I was going to say this is like. It's a lot like the Matrix. I mean, obviously, what you've got here. Oh. Okay. So, when I move, they move. When I fire my guns, time moves. Okay, got one. Well, my guns are empty now, because I'm doing hard mode. Okay, let's hit him, hit him. Yes! Uh-oh, bullets. <laughs> so yeah, it's like um, that scene in X-Men. Uh, Days of Future Past, I think? Yeah, that was the one with the good Quicksilver scene. Where you really just have control over the whole... world. Okay, I'm out of... Oh wait, I have a gun. Alright. Oh! Matrix. <laughs> They're very kind to you in this game. A lot of times enemy weapons will just fly straight to you. Come on, fire. <laughs> Beam This is another game that is not entirely long So I've already played through it So I know things like that But I definitely got killed by that the first time Oh bullet Oh no! Miss. Can 
Another miss. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just basically playing super hot. <laughs> And you can block bullets with objects. Although it might have been nice to have those objects. Let's see if I can walk over to this gun. This is another one of those wave shooter type games where you're kind of just stuck in, in place. But I can move around in my kind of environment I have in my living room here. I missed the shotgun guy. That's no good. Yes, shoot your friend. Oh, shotgun guy. See, this is the game being nice again. Or I could just take his gun. Both. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that's super hot. I don't need to keep playing through the whole game here for you. But uh, yeah. So, I'd say that's that's probably good for now. I just wanted to show you that Spider-Man game and then also briefly, briefly a little bit of super hot because it's just such a, a neat experience. VR is, is very cool. Um, it still needs to um, develop a little bit and get some more original games out for it and the price needs to come down a lot um it's still very expensive but it's so so crazy like a lot of people have a complaint that virtual reality is a lot like um just having a tv strapped to your face but the fact that you can like move around and look underneath things and look inside of boxes and um it, it really it's like a, a new reality being in another reality um, just minus the sensations you get that I mean eventually we'll have like full haptic bodysuits that we wear and are in like immersion rigs that um, you know uh, simulate the game but that's that's when it gets really scary <laughs> that'll be like matrix status um, that's what ready player one's all about which is a very cool book but yeah so thanks for checking out my um, quick quick sort of um, uh, special VR screen uh, all of you guys for tuning in staying around and uh, I'll see you guys soon I'll work on I'll work on something new and I do want to uh, get to that MCU match I'm not going to just hold off on that forever um, so we'll get to that eventually but, uh, yeah thanks again Super. Super. Super.